let's get messages for you. I hope that you have a blessed birthday. I hope you enjoy yourself and I hope you don't allow anybody to piss you off. Okay. All right, Virgo, let's see. What messages do we have for you today? September the 15th. Happy birthday. Oh, 10 of cups. We're starting off very, very positive here for you. Okay. We're starting off on a good note, but we will see where this will end up for you. The suit of cups, the 10 of cups right now for you is emotional bliss, you know, being happy, finding contentment in somebody, maybe finding a new home, maybe even planting a tree or something, you know, just being happy. You know, it's like you're you're in a property somewhere. You're somewhere where you're saying, you know, I'm, I'm making this property mine. I'm going to rebuild. I want to turn this into something that I can feel proud of. You know, maybe your favorite color is pink. Whatever the judgment messages here for Virgo. Please don't forget to take what you like, take what you take what you like and leave the rest. Take what you need, and leave the rest, Virgo. You know, this is you a new phase of your life here, you know. It's like I have this inner calling that I just want to leave somewhere. I just want to go somewhere else, you know. Whatever the sun, you want to find happiness here, okay? Bottom of the deck, is the 8 of cups. Okay? I think that you're definitely headed somewhere, Virgo. You're headed, you're headed somewhere, somewhere important for you. You know, this is action. This is moving forward here. And this is powerful manifestation for you. You got some powerful, you have some powerful manifestation skills. Okay. Let's see. Birthday reading for Virgo. It's like I'm headed. I think that you're leaving a situation behind. Hold on. Nope. This is where you're headed. Okay. We got the full card and we got the 10 of pentacles here. Okay. So this is you, you know, you're wanting this. This is the family connection for you. Not you doing a lot, not you doing it alone. It's like, even if you, you marry somebody or you're coupled up with somebody, you're still going to be living with an elder, taking care of your family. You no, know, my mother, father, whoever is not going to a home, they're going to stay here with us. And if you don't like it, you can leave. I'm not putting my mother in a home. I'm not putting my father in, father in a home. Or whoever it is that you're loving, that's an older older person. It doesn't have to be an elderly person. It could be somebody who can't can't take care of themselves mentally, physically, or emotionally. So they're all, you're all going to be in one place at a time, in one place at once. It's kind of like the Brady Bunch, but the Brady Bunch are on steroids because everybody's going to be there. We're all family here, you know. But this is what this is something that you're going. You're not going to leave anybody behind. You're not going to leave any stone unturned. If we're going to be together as a family, if we're going to be the motherfucking Brady Bunch, okay, grandma going to be here too. It's just that simple. I'm not putting my family in a home. That's something that my mother or father or whoever your loved one is discussed. Don't put me in no home, baby. Please don't put me in no home, okay? And you're not. You're not going to do that. You're going to grant them their wish and you're not going to do that, okay? What messages do I have for you, Virgo, for your birthday? So don't, I think that you're you're being kind of let, letting people, you know, don't do this or, you know, maybe you shouldn't do that. You know, I, I want to move in with them. I kind of feel like it may be a marriage, but I kind of feel like this is a, um, a shacking up situation, you know, where you all are. What do they call it when you've been with somebody for a while? A common law relationship, common law marriage, it could be, it couldn't be, but how it fits with you is what's important here. So you kind of got people saying, I don't know, if you have any doubts, baby girl, don't do it. You know, don't do it. You may not get along with her mother or he may not get along with your mother or, or elder or somebody like that. So it's like they don't want you to do it, but they're on the outside looking in. This is your life. You know, don't let people plant negative ideas in your head when it comes to this. To this. You have the power here. You know, you have the power to do what's best for you, to make the decisions that you need to make for the benefit of you and everybody else that's surrounding you. Because, you know, sometimes those nursing homes ain't the best place for your family members to be. You know, it's, it's just not. That's just the way it is, you know. But you can't let people hold you away from what makes you happy, okay? It makes you happy. Keep on doing it, you know, because I think you're feeling powerless and stuck in this situation. I'm hearing in this mindset, you don't know what to do, you know, but you can't let people know what you're doing. You got to keep your you got to keep your plans on lockdown so people won't know when y'all get the house, when y'all get ready to move, move on in, invite them over, say, hey, welcome to the house, welcome to the house, welcome to the, this is the housewarming party, bring a gift, okay? 
we got the emperor here. You know, this is you. This is whoever, you know, is in your connection. That that one on the right side of you. You're on the right. They're on the left. They're on the left. You're on the right. Take how it resonates. You know, you're not in this alone. This is what you wanted always. You know, now the high priestess. This is something that you always wanted. You got to be open for it. You know, and say, you know what? I I thought about this for a long time. You know. And I know what it is that I want. I know that, you know, I got to move forward. You know, I got to going, I got to go within and, 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 and search my soul and see what is it that I want here? Because I want to be happy. I want to be with somebody. I heard I want to be in that number <laughs> when the saints come marching in. So, you know, I feel like people think that you think highly that you think too highly of yourself and they don't nobody likes for you to be happy. They want to take that stuff away from you, but don't. OK, this is you standing in your power. This is you saying, I'm the one. I'm the motherfucking one. If you don't like it, you can step. You know, this is abundance in your life. This is structure and stability. You know, having that power and will and fortitude to move on. You know, it's it's not like you are abandoning people. You're pulling in the people in your life who you love and care about. If, if they can't understand that, that your relative wants to live, you know, doesn't want to be put. In, listen, just because this person that you love, they don't want to be put in um, storage is what I'm calling it. They don't want to be put in a nursing home. You know, they didn't say they wanted to live with you, but you're you're taking it upon yourself to, to bring them into your household. So they can be comfortable, so they can be safe, so you can feel safe and comfortable instead of having them someplace that you kiss them goodbye, see you later, mama, see you that later, daddy, grandma, auntie, sister, brother, whatever. You bring them into your family fold to take care of them, to see that they're taken care of correctly, okay? It's just the way it is. You're not going to abandon ship. You're not going to leave that person behind. You're not going to leave that person to fend for themselves. You're not going to leave them per that person in a bad situation. You're not going to do it, okay? You're not. So the five of wands and we got, I'm sorry, the five of swords and we got the five of the three of swords. So there's some heartache here though, you know, let's clarify the lovers. Okay. You're taking the leap of faith, but you're doing this, you know, out of your will. This is what you want to do. Move on and do it, you know, but yep. See, you're taking a leap of faith with this person. You're moving in with this person. Maybe, uh, moving out of town or something. It doesn't necessarily have to be. It just means you're making a major move in your life. And people tell you don't do it because it's going to be the biggest mistake you, the biggest mistake of your life. <clears throat> well, if you do this or, or you know, if you do that, you know, that's going to be a bad situation. And you better not do it. Now, don't, don't remind, I'll tell you, I'll remind you, I should have, could have, you should have, could have, would have did this. You could have, should have, you could have shut the, shut the fuck up and stay out of my motherfucking business. That's what you can do. Tell them Virgo where to, where to stick it, you know. Don't be wishing bad luck on me. Don't be wishing heartache and pain on me because I'm moving on and I'm happy here. Don't let people stop your mojo. You know, that's what that's what it is. You know, they're trying to stop you from moving on. They're trying to stop you from being happy every way they get. But when you get there, Virgo, it's not going to be good. It's not going to be what you think. He or she may be nice now, but wait till you wait until y'all live on the same roof. Roof is always something that somebody got to say. Let them talk. OK. And what you bringing, what you bringing grandma into the house for, you know, you're going to take her social security money. You're going to do this or you're going to do that. Always something, always some BS. Tell them to fuck a duck. Okay. So they're not going to listen, you know, but they, they always got something to say, well, he ain't going to be good for you. And she ain't good enough for you. You could do better. Fuck you. This is my life. Okay. This is my life. So they don't want to take care of the family first, the person who in, in your family and you do. It's your destiny. It's your calling to take care of that person. Okay. Okay, there's too many Virgo. Back the star. So it's too many, too many Indians and not enough chiefs in your life, Virgo. Too many people trying to run your life. This is your life. You can do what you want to do. You know, they got some of them got you kind of conflicted. You know, I just should I be doing this? You know, I don't know anymore because so many people telling me this make it's making me doubt myself. It's making me doubt the love I have for this person. It's like, I just don't know what else to do. You know, but you gotta, the choice is yours. You know, what you choose to do is on you, not anybody else's. You gotta understand that this is your life. You know, this is finding hope, making all of your dreams come true. You know, this is a good omen for you. You've made the right choice. You've prayed about it. You've thought about it. You've let it go and put it off and it came back around to you again. It's time. This is a good omen for you. Okay. This message may not rate, may not, you know, um, rate. Oh, I can't even talk. 
this reading may not relate to a lot of you all and that's okay okay but there's definitely something good here okay because we got you stepping into a position where you're, you're going to be very well treated this person is going to treat you like gold okay they're going to treat you like gold at the end of a beautiful way a beautiful rainbow i heard the name wayman <laughs> uh so definitely you're going to have love with this person okay it's, it's like this is going to be in a, a, a situation, a love relationship where the whole family is going to come together for the fresh start under one roof, loving each other and providing the care, the loving care that this person, this person needs because they have some special needs that, that only you can provide. It's going to be a beautiful family situation. It's going to be a beautiful partnership. You all are mutually attracted to each other and you complement each other damn well. Fuck what everybody else says. All right. <clears throat> I hope this message resonates, Virgo. Have a beautiful birthday and I will talk to you soon.